if, if you look at these benchmarks, how would you say that the, you do a proper assessment, the economy, you look at health, the infrastructure, and issues of unemployment have been dealt well adequately, for which perhaps uh, John Mahama is not even needed at all, and that we need a continuation of Dr. Mahama's development. <coughs> Okay, so I, I uh, once again, good morning. I want to start my listen by reading a post by Gabi Asari Otredakun on Facebook, dated October 31st, 2016. Where's the post? Let me and see whether it's a legitimate one. Oh, please do. Okay. He says, quote, the NDC is campaigning on infrastructure. And this is what a university don't say about it. The economy is number one. The economy is number two. The economy is number three because when we have a better economy, all other sectors perform well. Building a hospital is very good thing, but that is not how it is done. If you have existing hospitals and you lack doctors, your doctors are going on strike. You do not have enough medicine. Don't go and build another hospital. Listen to Gabriel. Then he said, you have to ensure that the existing ones perform, f function properly. That is the detail Muhammad fails to give. Today. What's your point with this? The point I am making is that the economy, the economy, the economy. Now, the question every household is asking. What's it to say? Simple. And this morning, you have shown the video of the respected Dr. Michael Hadou. I was only paying homage to him because you, I he beg you, I beg you. I didn't... <clears throat> I beg you, please. You have shown his video. And the more I watch it, I became heartbroken. Akufuado and Bamiya took this man to his early grief. Painfully. You cannot conclude Please, that. please, please, please. I beg you. The man out there is not a young man to lie. The man out there has no interest lying. He's above 70, 74 years. The man says that over 30 years of my life savings, Akufado and Baumia, through a dubious DDP, have denied him access to that savings. Look, when we were in Lagos, Dr. Michael Ado, um, um, dead to me, and Co used to come to Tingis, John Scott building, and encourage us to save in most of these banks and most of these financial institutions. What have we said? We woke up one morning, Akufado told us that there shall be no haircuts. Lied to us. I've never seen a leader. People trusted him and decided that he would be deceiving and lying to his people than what we have seen today. Over 61 billion Ghana cities of people's interest payment and principal payment lost through the DDP like a military regime. For the first time, we saw a retired chief justice go on demonstration. You come and sit here and gaslight people. You come and sit here and make it look like you have done us a favor. You come and sit here and look Ghanaians in the face and tell them that you have built hospital. Are you serious? When COVID struck, when COVID came to this country, where were they keeping the people? Were they keeping them in Akufado's cathedral? When COVID came, and that if you want to assess the What's vision, your point please, with please, if you want to assess the vision of a leader, you will see what he does in good time. Four years, <clears throat> what were you doing? You were putting $58 million into a bottomless hole for eight years and uh, for four years. Today, that hole is the most useless thing ever done. Instead of apologizing to Ghana, you are sitting here saying you have done what better. Yesterday, did Bamiya tell Ghana why he and Akufado decided to put $58 million? Not see this into a hole. Did he tell them that 58 million dollars? Uh, 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 do you know the number of jobs it can create to young people of this country? You use 58 million dollars in digging a hole. Are you mad? 
Are you crazy? And Ghanaians are going through this pain for eight years. Be careful with your No, no, no. You see, you see, no, 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 no. Listen, no, no. listen, hold on. now and be raving No, no, no. Like you see, this. I am in pain this morning. But, but no, no, the fact no, that no. you are in pain does I watch, I watch, I watch. Yeah, I watch. Yeah, no, please. No, no, no. Coffee out, coffee out, man. No, but you see, coffee out, man. Please don't be saying crazy and mad. It's either your flag bearer or it's you. Come on, don't do that. It is the height of madness. To use fifty-eight million dollars to dig a hole. <laughs> your words, your words. No, is it not madness? Fifty-eight million, Roland. If fifty-eight million dollars is Akufado's hard-earned money, would he use it to dig a hole? Would he do that? Look, the pain in the hearts of Ghanaians does not require us to romanticize issues. I would not do it. I was only saying speak with Jacob. People. If you dig a hole with $58 million, would your sanity not be questioned? A hole. And, 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 and Roland, mm -hmm. I beg your pardon. Listen, you have a situation where this government decided that they were going to use $2 million on a sky train. That money is locked up with a company. No sky train. $2 million. Can Bamiya tell Ghanaians how many jobs? But we are told it was for feasibility. That's it. Feasibility. Yes, and where is the money? Where is the sky trade? It's gone under the drain. We are told that this government spent another $2 million. Motor angel for the motorway job. It never happened. Do you know how many jobs that $2 million can create? 